Welcome back to Answers Excel Academy. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to complete a mail merge in which we'll be sending multiple bulk customized emails. We're going to be using Excel for this. Excel is going to have all the information of the uh, recipients and their customizable information. And then on Word, I have the email template that we'll be using as well. And then we're going to be sending these emails out to the individuals uh, in our Excel file. So I'm hosting a community cleanup. And as you can see, these are the volunteers of that community cleanup. I have their name, email, their check-in time, location, shift hours, the date, and the task which they're assigned to. Um, and this is all in my Excel file here. And in my Word file, I have a template for the email I'll be sending them. So as you can see, uh, it has some variable fields, which is the name of the person their task, their shift length, their shift location, all of those information which we'll be pulling for the uh, from the Excel file here. And it doesn't matter how many people we're sending the email to, as long as we have the template ready and we know which fields to make changes to, we can go ahead and send off the mail merge. So I'm going to go into mailings here and then I'll go into start mail merge email message. And this is going to be my email message. Now I'm just going to go ahead and select the recipients. So it's going to be an existing uh, list, which is going to be that Excel file here. So I'm going to go ahead and close this Excel file for now. And I'm going to go into select recipients. use an existing list and I'm going to find that Excel file in my documents. So now that we have the mail merge started, we can go ahead and alter these individual fields. So I'm going to go into the first name, first of all, and I'm going to go into insert merge field. And in my Excel file, I'm going to open the Excel file back up so that you can uh, see how we correlate the column headers with the uh, with the fields in Microsoft Word. So for first name in my Excel file, I have first name right over here, the column A. So I'm going to go in, into here, select first name insert merge field and it's going to be the first name in my Excel file and then we have the task so I'm going to highlight task and in my Excel file it's called task as well in column H so with task highlighted insert merge field and it's going to be task and then I'll repeat the process for the other variable fields as well so date I'm going to go ahead and see on my Excel file it's called date as well and I'm going to go into insert merge field and date and then for check-in time insert merge field check-in time and check-in location and then shift length I'm going to go ahead and highlight that insert merge field shift length and we have everything that is loaded up from our Excel file so now if I go into preview results I can see that the first person is Amira and in my Excel file, I can compare it's Amira. Her first task is workshop helper, seven hour shift. And as you can see over here, it says seven hours workshop helper and all of her information has loaded up. Now I'm just going to select everything here and remove the highlighting, which I had before. And I'm going to go back to mailings and I can see that these fields change as I go through my recipients. Okay. So that's basically it for adding the variable fields within your Microsoft Word. So now I can simply go into finish and merge. But before I do that, let me just show you in my Excel file, I have the emails in column C, right? The Excel header is email for the emails of the recipients. So I can go ahead into finish and merge, send email messages. Two is going to be the email, which is the email column header in my Excel file. I'm going to be sending all of them. And I can send them as an attachment, which is going to be a attached file to the email, an attached word file. I can send them as a plain text, or I can send them as an HTML, which includes all the formatting um, and everything as well. So I want to send them as HTML and I can press OK. And I'm going to add a subject as well. So the subject can be community cleanup and I'm going to click on OK. And there we go. So all of those emails got sent just like that. And now my outlook opens 
and from Outlook, it just gives a confirmation that the emails have been sent. So that's how you can basically use Mail Merge. It's a very simple process. As you can see, we had just about uh, 40 people who we needed to email, and we were able to do that within just a couple minutes. And we had multiple fields that were variable as well, but we were still able to accomplish that. So that's how you can use Mail Merge uh, to take data in Excel, take a template in Word, and send that email into uh, Outlook. I hope you found this video informative and helpful. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.